Good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. I was about to start filming a get ready with me on TikTok when I realized that I actually really needed to start a vlog. So we are going to do the get ready with me here instead. I'm just gonna catch you guys up on life and what I'm working on this week. We were just in Dallas with some of Avery's family and we got back Monday night. So this is kind of like a nice, the heck is in my hair? Just some dry shampoo that I missed. We were visiting some of Avery's family there and it was just such a nice weekend to get away. We got back on Monday. We kind of had a crazy experience because in New York, there was an earthquake on Friday, which is when we flew out. It happened maybe 20 or 30 minutes after we took off. So we missed the earthquake. And then on Monday when we were flying back, we were flying during the eclipse. And so we actually saw it happening from the sky, which was really cool experience, but it kind of just looked like it was nighttime at 2 p.m. So I can insert some photos that we took from the plane. But yeah, so this is kind of been a short week for us. I had to work yesterday and then today and tomorrow I have off, so I'm just gonna be working from home. I have one coaching session today and then I have three coaching sessions tomorrow. And then outside of that, I'm actually just working on building my website. So that's kind of my big project for the week. I should actually start getting ready while I talk to you. I've built smaller websites in the past, like when I first started modeling, very, very first started modeling. I had a little blog. This was like back in high school when I was traveling to Tokyo. And so I had a website for that at the time, which I built but it was one of those websites that had a layout. What's that service? Was it like Blogspot or something like that? Um, I can't remember what it was called. I wish I still had access to it. I would love to read some of the posts that I wrote back then, but I'm pretty sure I deleted it fully a couple years ago. So anyway, I'm building my coaching website now. It's like the first proper website that I am building or have ever built. It's fun, but it's very time consuming and just like is a lot more work than you think and so I originally thought that I was gonna be able to just at least get like a draft of it done by the end of today but I don't know if I'm gonna fully be able to finish it this week which is also just fine it just means that I have to probably spend some time this weekend continuing to build it the nice thing is that there are so many website services now I'm actually using Squarespace for mine and I have to say I'm really liking it so far I'm using one of their templates even if you use one of their templates you can just customize it to fit whatever you need and there's so many things that you can implement into it like you can put a whole scheduling feature you can put a payment feature which is obviously super nice and obviously i'm going to be so happy when it's done and i can share it with people and i think it's just gonna legitimize everything even more than it already is i'm not gonna do anything crazy i'm just gonna do some light makeup Ooh. <laughs> only because I want to film some TikTok videos today. I had modeling work every day of last week and so the week before I actually prepped like all of my TikTok videos for the week just so that I didn't have to worry about having to film something quick during a work day and then Friday we left and then Monday when I came back I was like okay now I really need to catch up again because I have nothing left so um, I'm gonna try and film two videos today and that will kind of hold me over for the rest of the week and then um maybe tomorrow i'll also film like one or two just so that i'm not super behind for next week it's hard to keep up with everything but i also just love making the tiktok content i don't think it's necessarily about tiktok itself or the platform but it's more about the bite-sized content that i really like and when it comes to coaching stuff, it's a lot easier to film those types of videos because you can just make it about one topic and then share whatever you wanna share. Um, and it doesn't really have to take, it doesn't have to take that long to film it and it also is just a lot easier for people to digest. In other news, the next few weeks are gonna be really busy with travel, a mix of work and travel for trips with my girlfriends. I have, a work trip next week and then I have another one the week after and then that weekend I'm going on a bachelorette trip with some of my longest best friends from the city I'm so excited we are like a group of six this is Shivani and Cindy and Valen and Hilda and Renee the girls you guys have met like a couple years ago it's actually a joint bachelorette for Renee and Valen they're both getting married in October 
Um, and it's just so exciting because we honestly haven't had a chance to do a girls trip like this since before the pandemic. I think it was actually Shivani's bachelorette was the last time that we took a big girls trip all together. So I'm super excited about that. And then the following weekend, I have a bachelorette trip for Mel, who's also getting married this summer. She's actually the first one getting married this year. So and yeah, the week after that, I have to go away for work again. And then we kind of just have a lot of weddings this summer. I think we have seven in total this year. So those are mostly taking place in the summer. And then we also have my brother's wedding, which is happening at the end of this year. I'm not going to lie, like in the beginning of this year, when we were looking at our travel schedule and all the weddings and stuff we had going on, it was a little bit stressful, I think, just because... There can be so many expectations around weddings and like the parties and everything. Also, when you have a family wedding, you want to spend money on them and you want to kind of treat them and help them out and stuff. So it's hard to figure out like where you can say yes and where you kind of have to set a boundary and say, okay, no, I can't do everything. But now that we've kind of like booked everything and these trips are starting to happen, it really is fun. And I mean, hopefully your friends only get married once, <laughs> right? So we're starting to get really excited about it. I think my favorite thing is waking up and realizing that my hair is already done and all I have to do is brush it out. Maybe a little dry shampoo. It saves me so much time. Speaking of hair, I just bought this new purple shampoo. I've only used it once, but I really like it. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell the difference. Before this, I was using the purple shampoo from... What's that brand called? Oh my gosh, every time I try and think of this brand, I can't think of it. It's the one that has the one, two, three, fuck. Olaplex, okay, Olaplex. Before this, I was using the Olaplex purple shampoo. Finished it, I kind of just like never replaced it. And then a couple weeks ago, I was hanging out with my friend Maddie and she was telling me about this one. She's also blonde. Um, and so I thought I would try it. I really like it. I've only used it one time. So I don't know how much I can say about it, but I feel like it does a really good job of just like toning your hair down a little bit. My battery's gonna die, so I'm gonna continue the story in the living room. I don't know what I was trying to tell you about that purple shampoo, but basically my friend Maddie had had like a negative experience um, getting her hair done and she had bought that purple shampoo to kind of like take the yellow out of her hair and it worked really well. So then I purchased it because after a few, I don't know, probably like a month and a half, my hair can kind of become brassy too. I think it's normal when you get your hair dyed. So I purchased it and that's kind of how I found out about it. But um, the last time I got my color done, it actually turned out quite a bit blonder than I thought, especially like up here. Um, I think it's actually a lot better now that it's been a month and I did go back and just get it toned down a little bit afterwards too. I'm just realizing more and more how much I love having my natural color in my hair. And even though I want to be bright, I don't want to be too blonde it just doesn't really suit me and so anyway boring story first world problems i'm gonna get to work i think i'm gonna do the tiktok videos first because it's kind of quiet right now with the construction and i have a call at one so i'm gonna give myself the next two hours to get that done it's definitely not gonna take two hours to film two videos but i'm just gonna give myself the time to do it make lunch and then i have my call and then I'm probably gonna work on my website after that for the rest of the day. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how I film these. I basically always film them when I'm sitting on this bench right here with my little library in the back. I use my ring light setup. And then I just sit here and film. Another thing that I do for these videos is I always make some sort of outline for it, especially when I'm doing a video about something coaching related or something that's a little bit more educational because it just makes the filming process that much easier it makes it so much quicker and i find that when i'm not fully prepared for filming something like that then it just takes me so much longer and so i try and do the harder work in the beginning to make my life easier in the end because these are going to be live by the time this video goes up i will tell you some of the videos that i'm filming today i've been doing this series where i share books that i've recommended to my clients Today I'm doing one that is kind of like a 20s edition, books to read in your 20s. So these are the ones that I'm gonna talk about, The Defining Decade, Attached, um, and How to Win Friends and Influence People. You guys can watch that on my TikTok. And then I also think I'm gonna film one about um, confidence versus self-worth. I've been talking a lot about topics that frequently come up in my sessions. So last week, for example, I talked about intuition versus anxiety. 
I also did one about standards versus expectations. And so today I'm gonna do one about confidence versus self-worth because even though they're both important, they are different. Personally, I don't think we focus on self-worth enough when that's the one that really is at the root of most things um, and something we need to develop as strong, independent women. Okay, I just finished filming those videos and now I'm gonna run to Trader Joe's. I'm just gonna pick up some groceries for the weekend and also something for me to have for lunch because I don't really have many options right now in the fridge. Um, I actually was planning to go get myself a salad for lunch, but now that I'm realizing I need to get groceries, I'm like, I think I'm just gonna go get a coffee, then I'm gonna do groceries, and then I'll just make a lunch at home, which is totally fine because I think actually Avery and I are gonna grab dinner together separately later tonight, so I'll just do something really simple for lunch. So yeah, I'm gonna have a quick snack probably when I get home, and then I'll make a lunch a little bit later after my session. to be a really productive day. I'm pretty much done with the website content. What I've been doing is obviously I created the layout and then I actually went and wrote everything out first. So like the the main page and then the about page and then the services. Basically just like all the content that I want on the website and now I'm entering it in. The only thing that I'm realizing is that I don't really have any professional photos that aren't modeling photos. Like I wanna get some photos where it's just kind of like more of a headshot or I'm smiling, but it's not something that's too modely, you know? So it's probably something I need to invest in at some point just so that I can have a couple of actual professional headshots. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stop working on this for right now. I have to go through some of the photos from the shoot that I did in my last vlog. He sent them to us over the weekend. I had a chance to go through them. I really like them but my agency is asking for some of my favorites. They're gonna go through the pictures as well and then we can do like the final selects. Um, so I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. There we go. Here's a little sneak peek, of some of the photos. The proofs are only in black and white, so I can't really see the colors or the colored version right now, but once we make our selects, we can see the colored ones, and I just can't wait. been a busy day so far believe it or not this is my lunch Avery and I had yogurt for breakfast early this morning but I've done two calls I have one more left I'm gonna eat this really quick and then I will catch up with you guys after today has been a very busy day but I also have to say that I love the days where I can just like work from home I feel like I am not just made to work from home but I feel like I am made to work independently. It's something that just like makes me so happy and fulfills me so much. And even though we live in, you know, the smallest apartment ever, I, d I just love being in here. I did go outside earlier. I did go for a Pilates class and I think I'm actually gonna stop now. I, um, I had my last call at three and then I've just been kind of editing this vlog for the last 30 minutes, but I'm feeling kind of tired. So I think I'm gonna go for a little walk and honestly maybe time it with when Avery finishes work. Maybe we can walk. Oh my god, I can't even, I feel like my brain is like not working. Um, maybe we can even go for a little bit of a walk together. 
Oh my God, speaking of the devil, this is the craziest thing ever. I swear Avery and I are connected. This happens to us like almost on a daily basis. I can't even explain it. I will be thinking about him and he will text me or vice versa or we'll both like be texting each other at the same time. It's so funny. You just sent me a picture and it doesn't look like he's done with work, but at least he's checking in. Avery is gonna cook us a steak tonight. Some roasted carrots. A masterpiece. Good night.